Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let's learn how to draw angles using ruler compass. Now drawing angles using protractor is pretty simple and easy. Drawing with compass is little difficult but at the same time drawing with compass makes it more convenient for a lot of purposes. So let's start with angle 60 degree. So how do we draw a 60 degree using a ruler and a compass? What comes to your mind when you think of 60 degree? So is there any geometrical figure which has something related to 60 degree? Think about it. Okay, let me tell you. Think of an equilateral triangle. What is an equilateral triangle? A triangle whose all the three sides are equal in length, whose all the three angles are equal in length. And therefore, the measurement of each angle is 60 degree. So that's an equilateral triangle. Now we are going to make use of this property of equilateral triangle to draw an angle of 60 degree. Just see how are we going to do that. Let's start. So we draw a line. Perfect. Now we take the compass, put its end at one end point of this line and we draw an arc with any convenient radius. So this radius could be anything. It could be big, it could be small as per your convenience. So you just take a normal sized radius and you draw an arc. Okay. So what have we done now? Now the moment we have drawn this arc, what happened? So this point, so this point is your center. So basically from this point to this point is what? It is nothing but radius. From this point to this point is what? This is nothing but radius. So basically this is also radius, this is also radius. So we are actually trying to draw a triangle, an equilateral triangle. If we are able to draw an equilateral triangle, that would by default mean that this angle is 60 degree. So we want to draw a 60 degree here. So in order to do that, we need to ensure that we have drawn an equilateral triangle. So by drawing this arc, we have ensured that this side and this side, they are equal in length. So let's name this as O and let's name these points also something. Okay, we will name that a little later. Now what we do, just to ensure that this side is also equal, what we do, we take the same compass, we do not change its orientation, exactly the same compass. Now consider this point as the center and draw an arc here, right? Now the moment we draw an arc here, what happens? Now this arc which we have drawn now that intersects with the existing arc at some point. Now here also if you see how much is this length, this is also r because this was r, this is r. So basically distance of any point on this arc would be r because they are all part of the, they are all radius of the same circle. Now here since we have drawn this arc again with the same uh, orientation of the compass, that means that this side, the, this side length is also R. So basically we have drawn an equilateral triangle which means that this angle is 60 degrees. So now when you draw this line you actually get a 60 degree like this. Now this explanation might sound very complicated but I am still explaining this because a lot of students they just follow the methodology to draw a 60 degree using compass but they do not know why are we why are they doing that if you ask most of the students would say that okay all you need to do is place your compass here draw an arc then place your compass here draw another arc and then you join and you get a 60 degree but why are we doing that that's because we want to draw an equilateral triangle here because if we are able to draw an equilateral triangle here that would by default mean that this angle is 60 degree. So let's have a quick recap of what we did. So what we actually did was we placed the compass here that is we considered O as the centered and drawn this arc and then we considered this point which is let's call this point as B. Then we considered B as the center and drew an arc and make sure that while drawing both these arcs you have not changed the orientation of the compass. So the orientation should remain the same 
and you draw another arc so you would see that these two arcs which you have drawn they intersect at a point join that point with point o and this gives you 60 degrees so this is how we draw a 60 degree using ruler compass Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.